welcome to my channel so i'm back with another story time and hello my name is noemi just in case if you're new here welcome to my channel so here i tell all kinds of stories so this video is a little different because i did tell you in my life update video that i was gonna make a movie video what i mean about a movie video is i personally really like watching movies it's another form of storytelling and i really do enjoy watching movies and i'm always in youtube looking for movie recommendations so this video is going to be exactly that i did watch a lot of movies during the month of november so how this video is gonna work is that i'm gonna tell you what movie i watch i'm gonna tell you a little synopsis and then i'll let you know what i personally think and then i'll let you know if i recommend it or not um like i said i always looking for a recommendation video so i decided to why not just make my own and maybe if you guys are bored one day and you see this video you probably want to watch that movie if i recommend it so a few things before we start i am in another location you know it's christmas it's december right now so i kind of wanted to show off my tree it's not on okay because it makes too much noise because of the star that i have but here it is also i did tell you i was gonna do an activity while i film so this time i really 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 need to do my nails so i am gonna do them i actually have everything out already this is the brand i use is called kiss um these are the classy ones they're just really natural looking just like that so i am going to be doing my nails while i talk about movies okay so i know it's a long long intro but you know let's get started of course before i even start talking about movies i am going to be drinking i do have i don't know i don't know why <laughs> i guess i felt like drinking today i am like always gonna have a margarita with some chamoy and before i drink my margarita hold up let me open it so before i have my margarita i am gonna take a shot this is jack daniels you know i kind of need energy to do this <laughs> so i'm gonna take a shot and then yeah okay so so if you want to drink with me or anything you guys want go get them and let's get started salud So in this video, I'm going to talk about 12 movies. I did watch a lot of movies this month, so I have about 12 movies. And it looks like I am going to have a part one and then a part two. I'm going to have six movies in one and then six movies in the other one. And I'm going to have two separate videos because it's a whole lot of movies, okay? It's 12 movies in one video seems too much for me. So I'm just going to split them up, okay? so i did write them down i do kind of have a list so the first one i'm going to talk about is smile so a little quick synopsis and this is going to be in my own words this is how i would describe it so smile is about a psychologist that gets a patient and this patient sees smiling people that are following her around well due to unfortunate events something happens to the patient that now it's passed on to the psychologist and the psychologist has to deal with these smiling people so this movie i am going to start off with a trigger warning okay because this movie and it's not a spoiler i'm not going to spoil it or anything like that it does happen at the beginning of the movie but this movie if you if unaliving like a person unaliving themselves is a trigger to you don't watch this movie okay no i wouldn't recommend it i personally have that trigger okay i hate it when people unalive themselves in movies and it bothers me 
but I feel like it didn't really bother me in this movie. I did look away a lot of times, okay? But it wasn't too bad to me. It wasn't too bad. But still, if you're like super, super sensitive, honestly, don't even watch it. Skip it, okay? Like if that triggers you, it's not worth it. Just skip it. But anyways, so this movie, I am going to give it props because it was marketed so well, okay? Like super well um to the point that even my mom because i was talking to her and even she knew about it <clears throat> and i'm just gonna give like a little side story so i was talking to my mom and i told her oh well i watched this movie smile and she's like oh no 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 and i was like why like wh what's the problem what's going on and she told me that she heard really bad things about this movie like bad as in that it was super super scary and people that watched this movie reported that they had like weird things happening in their houses after they watched this film and honestly i told her so far so good okay like i haven't experienced anything after i watched this film it's been a couple weeks already so you know we're doing good but um she did tell me she's like this movie is el diablo no me like while you're watching it like it's really scary and it's really bad so this is what i told her okay this movie to me it's been done before so this premise of a curse following a person has been done before and i feel in my opinion it's been done better okay this movie to me isn't like super super scary i'm talking about like the beginning and the middle it isn't super scary to me it was just like a typical curse film but when you get to the ending i feel like that was the best part hands down i really wish that they use that weirdness they used in the ending throughout the whole movie. It would have been so much better, but it is what it is. They didn't do it, but to me, the ending was the scariest thing of the whole movie, um, but it was awesome. I thought it was such an awesome ending, and it was cool. With that said, I honestly don't recommend it. I feel like if you want to watch it, go for it. Don't be scared of it. Just watch it. Just go through it, you know, and just enjoy it for what it is. It's Is it a terrible movie? It's not a terrible movie, okay? I feel like there's more bad movies out there. Is it the greatest film I ever watched? No, it's not. I feel the best part, like I said, is the ending. So if you're going to watch this, watch it for the ending, okay? If you're not interested, skip it. Like I said, I really don't recommend it. You could skip it. But if you really want to watch it, go for it. Okay, so that's how I feel about this movie. It's meh. It's in the middle. You don't have to watch it. It's not a must, okay? So yeah, if you want to watch this film, you can watch it at Paramount. It's streaming right now. And that's pretty much it about that movie. It was, it was okay. Now, the next movie is X. So really quick synopsis. X is about a group of people that got together and they want to film the best adult film that they can make so they do end up renting a cute kind of ranch house and they rent it from a couple and, and this couple is an elder couple and everything was going fine and dandy when all of a sudden they realized that this couple isn't as innocent as they look okay so that is x x was a total surprise for me okay because x like i said it's about filming a adult film to me i don't want to mix my goriness with 
the dance with no pants okay like no i feel like they don't mix i don't want to see it i don't want to see that like mine so i definitely didn't want to watch this movie i was like you know what it's not gonna be my favorite so why watch it why waste my time but i kept seeing reviews and i was like you know what let's just watch it let's just give it a go and this film surprised me so much because this film is so good. I loved it, okay? First of all, I am going to say it is a slasher film. There's going to be gore, there's going to be guts, there's going to be blood everywhere. So if you're not into that, don't waste your time, okay? Don't waste your time because you're going to see a lot of that. But what I did like was that the um, director, the producer, you know, whoever was involved did not mix those things together. They did not mix the horror with the uh, dance with no pants. It's completely separated. So I really like that. I really like that element that it's not together. Um, also... There is a scene, and I'm not going to ruin it, I'm not going to say what, okay? But there's a scene that really just, it was tension, okay? Like, it was so much tension, and you felt like that, like, oh, don't breathe type of thing, like, holding your breath, and it was so good. All I'm going to say about X is go watch it, okay? Again, if you don't like goriness, then maybe skip it but if you do you don't mind it it is such a great film i had so much fun with it and x is actually in paramount as well but i do believe they have like a separate subscription and it's the showtime subscription and it's it's a little bit more than the regular paramount it comes out to 11 dollars. not sponsored by the way but it's worth it like if you could get that extra subscription get it because they have good movies in the showtime but they do have that movie x so that's pretty much that movie we're gonna go on to the next movie the next movie is come play with me this movie okay so quick synopsis here come play with me is about a boy that has autism and uh, one of the things that really calms him down is his phone and watching spongebob well one night this mysterious app like story app downloads in his phone and now a monster wants to become his friend but obviously it's not as innocent as it looks and his whole family kind of have to deal with that situation so that's pretty much come play with me is about and this movie again i had such a great time with it okay it is not the best movie out there is it cheesy a little bit is it corny a little bit okay but i really did like there's some scenes that it just brings so much tension and i do like the fact because it has to do with an app they do use apps and it deals with the monster and they also do use like a laser effect that deals with the monster in that movie and it's so well done i really really enjoy that kind of effects that i feel like it made the movie even more scary than what i guess the premise is so i really did enjoy those things with the app and with the laser and it really made the movie better in my opinion and to me it's just a great movie it was an awesome time and i had so much fun with it that honestly i recommend this movie okay if you could go watch it now okay it's not gory at all it's just more of a supernatural type of movie so i definitely recommend this movie you can watch it again it's in paramount in the showtime if you have it or if you could get it 
go get it and watch it this movie is really awesome and i feel like no one really is talking about it i didn't know about it my boyfriend kind of mentioned it to me and i was like sure i'll give it a try and honestly i am so glad i did because it is a great film and i really do recommend you go watch it like now just kidding <laughs> okay so next movie i watch was barbarian i feel like almost all the films i watch i loved and this is one of them okay so really quick synopsis so this film is about a girl that runs a airbnb and when she gets there she noticed that someone is already there a stranger but what she doesn't know is that she should be more scared of what's inside the house than the stranger so that's all i'm gonna say with this movie if you haven't watched this movie i don't know why okay if you're avoiding it don't avoid it go watch it now okay this film was amazing i thought the premise was really refreshing really new to me maybe not but i i feel like i've never seen anything like it i feel like they do the horror elements and comedy very well okay they kind of mix it a little and it's just on point there were some scenes and where i was completely afraid but also i laughed <laughs> like it will make sense if you watch it but this movie is such a great movie and all i'm gonna just say good things about it okay so my news well go watch it if you haven't seen it yet i feel like maybe it's not for everybody not everybody's gonna like this film but if you're into horror um it does have a little bit of gore in there so again if you don't like gore maybe not but it does have tension it has a little bit of gore it has the horror elements that are very well used so this movie is just amazing i recommend just go watch it don't even look at the trailer don't even nada okay just turn off my video just kidding don't turn it off <laughs> but just go watch it without knowing anything about it and you're gonna have such a great time with this film so that's all i'm gonna say about this film just go watch it oh and by the way barbarian is streaming on hbo okay so if you have hbo do not sleep on it go watch it right now okay this next film is the new Jordan Peele movie, and it's called Nope. Um, I'm sure probably everyone already saw this one. I was a little late to this one. I honestly was not feeling it. I absolutely loved Us and Get Out. It was, those movies are great and they're amazing. But for some reason, this movie didn't really, it didn't really caught my attention. But you know what? I gave it a shot. I was like, everyone is talking about it and they're saying so many great things about this film. And I gotta watch it. So I ended up watching this movie. It's called Nope. And I'm just going to give you a really quick synopsis. So, Nope is about a horse business. And they do a lot of things with commercials and with horses, ranch. And one day, this strange cloud type of thing comes out to the ranch. And to them, it's just so strange. And they realize that it is not a cloud at all. And it's something maybe from out of space that they kind of have to deal with it. And that's all I'm going to say. Okay, this movie, again, I liked almost all the movies I watched. But I thought this film was great. At first, okay, I'm not going to lie. At first, I was like, what did I watch? Like, I was a little confused about it. 
I did my research and I looked it up and it kind of clicked and it made sense to me. I rewatched it again and I enjoyed it even more the second time, okay? I thought this film was great. I realized a lot of things I didn't really, I guess, pay attention to, but if you watch it again, it kind of clicks and it's a really good movie it is a beautiful movie like it is filmed so well it has so much color even in the night scenes i don't know how he does it okay like the night scene seemed like it was filmed during the day okay like it was beautiful i absolutely love this movie i love the premise of it i love it has to do with aliens and ufos it's not super gory i guess there is a little bit of blood maybe a lot of blood okay but not in a like in a stabby kind of way okay it's a little different i still recommend this movie okay if you don't like gore i don't care go watch it right now okay because this film is actually really good i definitely recommend it it's beautiful i don't know what else to say about this film just go watch it so now this is the sixth movie it's gonna be the last movie in this video okay if you want to listen to more movies come back to part two i am obviously gonna post this part first and then we'll go to part two um but this is the last movie of part one so this last movie will kind of end in a bad note, <laughs> okay? Because this movie is Escape the Grass. Girl, really quick synopsis. So Escape the Grass is about a nurse that wakes up in a grass field. And she ends up with a group of strangers kind of have to get together and escape the grass okay but obviously it's not as simple as it seems so this movie i was bored one day and i kind of looked up escape the grass and no one really is talking about it i could see why okay because i was like you know what let's just give it a shot it reminds me a lot of a, another movie i believe it's called in the tall grass okay so it reminded me a lot of that movie and i was like i kind of enjoyed in the tall grass it wasn't my favorite but it was okay movie so i was like if it's the same kind of premise then i am totally down and let's watch it so i sit down i watch this film and girl it was just not that good okay like i don't know i think i really didn't care about the characters the main characters especially because you're supposed to care about the main character especially but i didn't really i didn't really care about them okay um the it was kind of weird and it was really slow pace for me and it wasn't that great okay like it really wasn't i feel like again i really didn't care for the characters i was just kind of watching it because i was bored but it wasn't my favorite movie this movie i definitely definitely do not recommend this movie at all okay like at all don't watch it even if you're bored i honestly wouldn't recommend it um, a lot of people are not talking about it because is not that good okay so just skip this one entirely completely just skip it go watch barbarian or x or complete with me go watch those other movies instead okay and but if you still want to see it it is i believe peacock peacock or paramount one of those two i believe it's in peacock if you want to go watch it it's in peacock so that's pretty much it for the six movies 
if you want an update i did finish one hand okay they're just like really classy really simple but yeah so if you like this video and you want to see more movies and my recommendations go to part two and yeah i'm gonna finish off this hand in part two as well but yeah i hope you enjoy this video and i appreciate you watching this video i am gonna do more of these videos i'm watching more movies i'm watching shows as well that i want to include but yeah i hope you enjoy it and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye